Welcome back. Thanks for joining me. In this video, we'll discuss what is effective scheduling. A frequent question is who should schedule the work? What are the necessary skills to schedule the work? The process of creating a daily, weekly, or shutdown work schedule requires considerable time, skills, and effort. And these schedules must be completed and communicated before established deadlines in advance of work being executed. Large organizations may have the position of a maintenance scheduler. When we use the term scheduler, this refers to the position with scheduling responsibilities. And the options include OMC, Operations Maintenance Coordinator, a Maintenance Planner, or Supervisor. The assignment of the scheduler is dependent on the size of the organization and the complexity of the schedule. For example, developing the weekly schedule may be the responsibility of the planner with input from the OMC and or operations representative, or an engineer or maintenance supervisor. In this case, the planners are not choosing the work orders or PMs to schedule. They're merely creating the weekly schedule based on input from all the necessary stakeholders and the maintenance supervisors are providing the planners their crew availability. Daily schedules are the responsibility of the maintenance supervisor alone or with some assistance from the planner and major shutdown schedules may be produced by the turnaround or shutdown manager, which is a common position in large operations with input from supervisors and planners. It is important to remember though, that while a planner may have other duties, such as scheduling, most of the planner's time should be spent preparing detailed work plans. The assigned responsibility of scheduling can be a monumental task for organizations that are highly reactive or don't have support from operations. It is up to management to ensure that planners have adequate time to plan. To ensure that there is a strong commitment to follow the schedules that are developed, there must be a very close and cooperative communication among schedulers, planners, maintenance supervisors, OMCs, operating supervisors, engineers, and storeroom personnel. Keep in mind that characteristics of a good schedule are that they must be meaningful and practical for tradespeople and other positions that we've mentioned. In addition, their form format must be easily interpreted and as a result, a graphical layout is strongly preferred since it's much easier to grasp. To have effective weekly schedules ensures that scheduling responsibilities assigned to a position that has all the necessary time, skills, and attributes to develop the schedule with input and support from operations, maintenance, engineering, and purchasing. Please add your comment and like the video we can carry on the conversation offline. Check out itcom.com for additional information.